Hey guys, thanks for joining me with Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance and we're here at Gen Con 2018. This is day three. I get to join Jake from USA Monopoly to yep. go through a couple of your guys' new games you guys are showing off at the show. So what do you guys got this year? Yeah, so thank you for joining us. Um, it's been crazy here. Uh, had a lot of a lot of excitement. Uh, booth's been full of people, so it's been a really good Gen Con for us. Um, we're debuting a couple new releases. Uh, Samurai Jack: Back to the Past is one that we'll be talking about. Awesome. Um, we have another one, Blank Slate, that's a Target exclusive. That's kind of new. And then we're previewing some other games um, like Fantastic Beast: Perilous Pursuit, um, as well as a fun Snow White game too. So um, got a lot of traffic in here, and um, it's been it's been a good show so far. Awesome, man! A lot of new content. So let me go ahead and jump behind the camera, and I'll show you guys some of the new features in these new games. Cool. So this is Samurai Jack Back to the Past, a new release from us, uh, from our Project Raygun division. This will be out um, in stores August 10th, so if you're a fan of the show, definitely check it out, pick it up. In this game, you're playing as one of Jack's friends, um, moving along the track and gaining cards from the different zones. So you'll use cards to uh, turn them in for points and defeat villains at the end of the track. Um, so we can see the daughters of Aku here. Um, they require certain different sets of uh, cards to be able to be defeated um, and as well gain victory points. So the goal of the game, get the most victory points um, before or player who gets the most victory points wins. Um, you can see each player has their own pre-painted mini that are absolutely beautiful. Um, so on your turn, you'll choose a movement card, move to that zone, and then draft a card from that zone. So on the play or on the board, um, all the way at the end of the table, there are different cards from the different zones that uh, have different resources on them. So you'll draft cards, use them at the end of the track, um, and those do not replenish. So once they are used for that round, they are gone. Um, a couple other things, we have Jack uh, as his own movement, also Aku. If you ever leave Jack alone, uh, that drives Jack more insane, and this is the way we can lose the game all collectively, um, is if Jack becomes too insane. And if Aku ever un ends up on a spot with you like he is with Sir Rothschild on the board, then that limits that player from drafting a card. Um, one thing I love about this game is the custom track, uh, the game board. So when you go down the board, um, and defeat a villain, you'll pick up all the tiles, shuffle them up, and deal them out again. So each path, each round um, is a unique track. So you can play over and over and over again without having the same um, track. So it's a lot of fun. Two to five players will be available uh, next week in retail for $35. So this is Fantastic Beast Perilous Pursuit, um, a new game coming out from us in September. This one will be $35 and is a two to four player cooperative dice game where you are playing as one of the four main characters from the first Fantastic Beast movie. Um, the goal of this game is to capture five beasts before um, they defeat a hero. So the way we lose is if one hero um, runs out of health. Health is finite, so you can never regain health, but you can use shields to protect yourself. So on each player board, um, we have certain powers like capture, which will allow us to capture the beast and put it back in a new suitcase. Um, distract, which will allow us to roll one more, one less dice for the, the beast. Um, shields, which will allow you to, to protect yourself from damage. Um, and you can draw cards um, as well. So you get three chances to roll the dice, um, and you can keep anything you want, so kind of just like Yahtzee. Um, you, so you roll the dice, keep what you want, and then assign them to your player board um, to enact a power. So it is cooperative, so we all are working together, so you can use cards for other people, um, and we can also assign dice for other people as well, um, if you have that power uh, ready and set. So a really fun game to uh, relive the first movie um, and prepare yourself for the second movie that will be coming out this November. So this is Fantastic Beast Perilous Pursuit coming out next month. Well, thank you, Jake, for taking us through those interesting games. I can't wait to dig into some of these. I'm yep. going to be doing full coverage, learn to play videos on these as well in the future, so you guys get to look forward to that. And you guys will be able to pick these games up very soon from your local retailer as well, it sounds like. So uh, USA Monopoly has got some really exciting stuff coming your way. Yep. And, uh, Congratulations again on all the new Thank stuff you, you guys Thank have you. got. Yeah, appreciate it. What we're trying to do is just really create immersive games uh, for fans of licenses. Definitely. So if you know Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, right, you, you dive into the Harry Potter world. Thanos Rising is another great one. You dive into that movie. So um, we're trying to give fans immersive experiences to, to really celebrate that license or that movie, TV yeah. show, whatever it is. Um, give fans a good game um, as well as fun memories to relive uh, on tabletop. Awesome, yeah. And like, as you guys know, I did coverage for the 
uh, Harry Potter deck building game, which I had a lot of fun with. I highly recommend that one if you haven't played it yet. And like I said, I'll have some more coverage on some of these new video games as they come out, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on those as well. So until next time, I'll see you guys later, and thanks so much for watching.